All right, guys. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to start using InDesign. Now, we are going to use InDesign to complete the same project uh, just through a multiple assignments, all right? Um, so what you're going to see today is the start of our first assignment. It's going to build on top of each other because I just want to keep going with the same document before we do anything. So you'll notice I have InDesign pulled up right here. You can see InDesign's logo, and we're going to click Create New. Okay, so just like every other Adobe software you see, you're going to see that it's got the same box up top, print, web, mobile, stuff like that. Uh, over here, it's in Picas automatically. You can change it to inches if you want to. What we're going to do is we want to go to print so that we can see that we have all of our different print options, letter, legal, tabloid, letter, half, letter, uh, legal, half. So these are just half pieces. We want to start with a letter-sized piece of paper because what we're going to do is make a flyer for a cafe, okay? So when I click letter, you should see that it's over here in PICAS. It's 51P0. Don't worry about PICAS. We're not going to worry about that. What we are going to worry about is inches to make sure that we're right. We want it eight and a half inches wide and 11 inches tall, so we're good to go. We're going to click Create, and we're on our way. Now, the first thing you'll notice when you get into InDesign is there is a lot going on. You've got layers over here. You've got pages in here. Don't worry about master pages. Don't worry about all this stuff. Don't worry about any of that. We're going to worry about layers for right now so we can keep it very similar to what we've been doing. Okay, we're also going to worry about the rest of this. So you'll notice the first thing that is different is our our page. It's, it's not an artboard. It's a page, and it's got a border. You can see that pink line going all the way around is the border. Okay, if you look over here to the left on the toolbar, you'll see it's not that different looking than Illustrator or Photoshop. We've got the selection tool. We've got the direct selection tool, uh, page tool. We've got some other tools in here, um, pen tool, but all, all these things are, are, are very identical to Photoshop and Illustrator. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to put an image into InDesign. And to do that, we're gonna do a lot like we did in Photoshop. We're gonna go to File, and we're going to go to Place, all right? That's gonna open up your, your uh, your browsing or your file system, and you want to make sure that you go into that first packet that we have for InDesign, um, and then you're going to go into uh, go into there, and we're going to go into the photos, and what we want to open up is uh, let's just go with restaurant and open restaurant. And then at the very top, we can go just like this, and we're going to make it just a little bit more than half the page. Okay, so now you can see we have a very clean, elegant-looking restaurant logo. Now, in InDesign, images are a little bit different. You have, you Basically, when I put this in, you see the blue line that goes around this, that blue line right here? That's the frame that this image sits in. So everything in, in InDesign is going to be in a frame frame and the frame is editable watch what happens when i edit this frame you see it doesn't do anything to the picture it just shrinks the availability of the window we can see that picture through okay so i'm going to redo that a couple times or undo that a couple times so you can see where we're at you'll notice though if you click on this little circle right here and you move that you're going to move your image so look i'm moving my image within the frame so now i see the frame is still sitting but the image is moved out so i'm going to undo that real quick uh one thing that you will see uh, is your display performance. Um, you can use a fast display. That's not going to display your images at all. It's just going to be a, a gray box. Typical display is going to cut some of the resolution out. The display performance, the high quality image is going to display the highest quality as possible. So I'm going to use the view settings and that, and if you click on that, it's just going to allow your computer to choose what it sees. So the more and more you add, you might get some lower quality. Um, all right. So you can go in and directly edit the frame, but what you have to do on the frame is use the pen tool, and not just any part of the pen tool. We're going to add anchor points, okay? So we want to come in here and add an anchor point here. I'm going to scroll over and add another anchor point right there. Okay, that, yours doesn't have to be identically perfect to mine, but you know you do want to add those two anchor points in. Now, 
with the pen tool selected, you know, you want to go back to the regular pen tool, uh, we can come to these anchor points. And if you hover over it, you'll see that it has the minus. And if you click on it, your anchor point goes away. But what you want to do is with the pen tool selected, you want to hold down the alt key. And that's going to turn your arrow into this, this little uh, open triangle part or open arrow. And you can click and we can drag out like we're drawing with the pen tool and we can make curved uh, curved lines to make this a little bit more aesthetically pleasing uh, on your edit. Okay. Now, the next thing that we want to be able to do is we want to be able to edit this image so that uh, we have a border around our frame. So with the frame selected, that's what the entire frame selected. So it's going to be that blue piece. If you double click, you'll notice that it turns orange. That means the image is selected. So if it's not the layer color that you see right here, and it's this orange color, that means the image is selected. If it's the, the selection is the layer color that you see right here, uh, that means that you are selected the frame. And then we can come up to the very top, and you notice that instead of having a stroke and uh, your normal stroke and your normal fill, you've got two separate options right here. So we're going to go to the to this option. And you've got all these different uh, normal um, options that they have. And you can edit the colors later, and I'll show you how to get into that. But right now, we want to just use this blue color here at the bottom. Uh, and then we want to make this frame thicker, so this, the, the, the stroke around this frame thicker. So now, when I look at this, you can see that my frame has this blue outline. I have this wavy look. Okay, and if I wanted to move the image up, I could. I'm not going to uh, for because the, the image is just not going to be big enough to be seen. But uh, we have our frame. Now, if you want to preview what this is going to look like when it's printed out, because InDesign is a uh, document editing software, uh, you can hit W on your keyboard while nothing is selected. And that's going to give you a preview of the page when it's printed out. So you can see here we've got this nice solid line right there. And for right now, that's all we're going to do. So what I want you to do right now, click up here in your file. I want you to go to Save As. And we're going to save this as uh, a flyer 1 with our underscore 1 underscore last name. So that way, when we come back to this, we'll be able to edit it uh, and, and continue to go with it in InDesign. Okay? So make sure that you're saving that. Make sure that you have a place that you are saving it uh, that you can access later. And we'll come back and work on this at, a, at a, another date and time. All right, so 2020 work. I'm going to save it right there, and I'll see you guys next time.